beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river. There are people who have crossed this river. We are not trying to invent something new. There's nothing about the anointing that is new. There's nothing about generational impact that is new. So I want to encourage us, pay attention to these things. Don't get so familiar and then don't listen. No. Open up your heart. Don't just write. Don't just say amen. Don't just fall down. Don't just roll. Believe it. Receive it in your heart and be diligent. Be diligent to apply it. Listen, I give you one guarantee. Let me tell you this. And I've been saying this for many years. You will never, never fail if you listen to what I'm telling you. Believe me. There are people who will think these things are just jargons. And then after many years, the danger is they will now have children and families, yet they don't have an idea of the systems of God. And they will frustrate a whole generation as a result of their ignorance. Please, I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute. And Lift your voice and pray. And do not take your word lightly. It is capable of changing my life. It is capable of bringing the anointing into my life. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever see It's your spirit that opens to me The treasures of your word And I will forever sing your name I will sing I will sing Of the wonders of your word Last week we began a series that is aimed at giving us spiritual intelligence. Please listen. 
it is dangerous to live in ignorance as to the systems of the spirit you hear me repeat some of these things again and again your victory and my victory in this life is not only dependent on what christ has done but dependent on our comprehending the same and applying the principles that will make it happen in our lives the disaster that occur in several lives regardless of what christ has done is proof that the work of christ by itself will not bring you results are we together there must be an understanding and we must know how to engage the word and um, there are a number of concepts that we discussed we took one last week which was the spirituality of life that was the first intelligence that the lord began to walk in our minds and we investigated this very thoroughly life is spiritual how many of you were blessed last week yeah it is important for us to understand the spirituality of life life is not scientific life is not intellectual life is not emotional life is spiritual are we together and the earlier we understood spiritual things and how to navigate the part of life the earlier we came to this understanding the better the swifter our progress would manifest there are so many people who trivialize the spirituality of life and um, it is to their detriment everything about your life to this moment is spiritual so we'll continue we'll take on one just four concepts in this series that i believe that the lord wants to burn in our heart number two god is almighty write it down and then listen to me number one life is spiritual that's the first intelligence you need to have if you want to reign second god is almighty deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 media let's work together deuteronomy 10 17 you will never be able to obey god listen carefully you will never be able to do the giant things that the lord desires from you fulfill purpose an assignment if you do not have a revelation of the might of god you can have a revelation of his love you can have a revelation of his goodness but if you want to command victory in your life you need to know that god is not mighty he is all mighty deuteronomy chapter 10 okay verse 17 let me just read it from here if you have it let's read it together if you don't i'll just read alone one to read for the lord your god is god of gods a mighty and an awesome god who regarded not persons nor take it reward some version says not take it bribe it says for the lord your god is what god of i've taught you what this means that every time one thing is compared against another is trying to show the all-surpassing excellency so he says this lord your god that you serve he's not just one of the gods he's not just one of the lords please listen this God that we serve is not just the best option of the many. He is the only option available. There are so many people who cannot obey God today. There are so many people who cannot believe God. So many pastors, businessmen, family people are unable to receive the instructions of God. Are unable to take steps of faith. Not because they cannot read their Bibles. They do not know how mighty and how great God is. One of the things that you must burn in your spirit as you begin your journey to greatness is to know that God is mighty. Mighty. 
Savior, He can move the mountains. Listen to this song. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. He's the author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. There is nothing the Lord will ask me to do that I will be afraid of. No. I have caught a revelation of how mighty he is. The reason why many people cannot obey God is not because they are disobedient. They do not know that he is mighty. Listen, look at this. Come, Sam. If, if I tell Sam, I will buy you a car tomorrow, he will not just laugh. The first thing Sam will do is to look at me and evaluate me, my capacity financially, based on whatever information he has at his disposal. Is that true? So Sam will look at me. If Sam does not know me, he will go and ask someone who knows me. Is this guy wealthy enough to be able to buy you a car at will? If he receives a testimony of my ability, Sam will now stand and say, I can believe you. Is that true? If I, if I say right now, everyone in Koinonia, just be listening to me, welfare department, go and buy minerals, just pass it around. You will never look and say, Apostle, don't deceive us. How much is minerals? Are we together? So it's easy to believe me because subconsciously you have an understanding that I am able. Now, if I say, everybody just sit down, we're going to pass car keys around. You will say, Amen. But what you mean is the prophecy for car keys because you look around and imagine. So when God says, I will bless you, your understanding of him will judge what he has said. And you say, Lord, I trust you, but it's well. I, you have a track record of fooling men. God is almighty. So God can speak to you and say, son, do this, do that. Let me tell you something. God never gives you instructions based on your ability. He speaks to you as though he's talking to himself. So don't be surprised to hear how, how challenging his instructions will come. When God speaks to you, he speaks to himself. So he's not going to degrade his standards just because your mind is trying to comprehend him. Are we together? It's up to you by the ministry of the word and the spirit to rise in understanding and get to a point where you will count him faithful. That was the testimony of Abraham. The Bible says Abraham, although he was an hundred years, he counted God faithful. And so he wavered not at his faith through unbelief. One day God will stand up and say, son, it's time to build a big cathedral. Son, it's time to do this. I will be stupid to stand and say, God, don't, don't disappoint me. No, no. I have made promises to people as a man. And I've seen how they just rejoiced. Oh, I will give you 10 naira. I will help you to pay your school fees. And they jump. I've not given them any money. Didn't give them any check. They just started jumping around. What if I change my mind? You don't think I will. So you are happy. Our unbelief is proof we do not know God is almighty. So when he told you you will marry, you are still asking him questions. Lord, can't you just give me date and let two of us rest? <laughs> I will bless you and you will prosper. Oh God, when? When? Do you know, do you know worry is a sign of lack of faith? Worry, believe me when I tell you this, it's an uncomfortable truth. Worry is a sign of lack of faith. No. When he's in charge, when you are in charge with him, there is no reason, no reason, no reason. This is the revelation that is responsible for confidence. When you see people move around, it's not as if there is a charm in their pocket. But I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able. Looking at the great things that God has done today, ENI is not six years. It's just Koinonia that is six years. The meeting here. But even at this, it is still a humbling experience. Watching the things that God has done by His grace. 
seeing the many things seeing his word come to pass do you believe him do you truly believe God don't tell me you believe God until you know that he is mighty not just that he's mighty he's willing to hold your hands when a man is willing to help you and you know that person has capacity to help you you trust him the word trust is from the word bata is best described pastor alpha's son is not even considering whether his father's hand is tired he's sitting happily and playing while the father takes responsibility for bringing the child here it's called trust the child has had a track record in his little life that my father loves me but my father is also strong strong enough and so he can afford to move around not minding whether the father is uncomfortable or not did god ever tell you he's tired of holding you did god ever tell you he he needed assistance his hand was paining him god is not moses the keeper of israel the bible says he neither sleeps what kind of a being is that you don't sleep nor slumber the bible says there is no searching of his understanding there's too much unbelief there are very few people that believe god you see it in their lives although they claim they trust him but the, 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 the way we act shows we don't trust him. I believe him. That's the song. He's able. He's able. He's able to bless you. He's able to keep you. He's able to bring his word to pass in your life. God is almighty. He's not going to borrow power from someone else and return it. No. He didn't store the power somewhere else. He's not signing like a check, like you go to the bank and plead with them to do a transfer. No. He's almighty. No man voted him into power. Listen. He doesn't store his anointing somewhere and he's insecure if they will take it. The Bible says, once have I spoken twice have you heard uh-huh help me that all 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 he never said he's the only one who can use it but he said it belongs to him alone witches can use it by certain manipulations of the laws of the spirit but hear me brothers and sisters all power the power to make wealth kabaratoshia the power for favor the power for increase the power for breakthrough the power for children the power that swallows up challenges that power belongs to God know this listen let me tell you ask anyone who knows me I thank God I've taught you about the gift of men I've taught you about the ministry of men but God cursed be I the day I will leave God to put my eye in a mortal man Believing that he's the one who will help me. Look, in my little life, I have seen the inconsistencies of men. It is foolish for me to sit down and tie my destiny to the word of a man. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I judge him faithful. I can tell you I want to help you and get angry tomorrow and say pastor alpha you offended me i will punish you i won't help you again that's a man for you i can say i want to help you but me too i was expecting help from some, from somebody how powerless that can be you are standing in the middle of help to help but there's no helper of god he checked around and nobody was greater than him so he swore by his name that by these two immutable things it is impossible listen i'm speaking to someone here you better believe god and say lord if you spoke to me about your my destiny let's go i believe i like joshua and caleb he said let us go up at once look at david who is this uncircumcised philistine the, 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 this all this fear about our lives fear about the future fear about ministry will i be rich 
Will I marry? Will I have children? How many? Will my pregnancy stay? Will I die? Will a plane crash? Will a car jam me? All those things are results. Hear me. Will crowds come for my meeting? What if they get angry one day and don't like me again? Those thoughts are a product of a lack of knowledge about how mighty God is. I sing that song again. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation. Heroes and conquerors. talk like this I, I know what some of you are thinking when you hear people talk like this you just say they are lucky I mean you have food to eat you have this thing they kept in front as though we were born like that <laughs> let me tell you something very few people in this life even historically were ever born with any privilege it takes an understanding I remember clearly when the Lord would speak to me in the secret no results no results but i believed him i remember when he told me he would anoint me and he would do great things i remember when he began to give the blueprint of e and i the blueprint of i remember those little instructions he gave on our way to crusade grounds hoping the world will work let me tell you something Ejimi. come come let me tease this guy small i love him he's my friend you see when we started out let me tell you something that time it wasn't like a crowd like this there were few people now I remember clearly I told them that when we went to the crusade ground we we're going to meet all kinds of people blind sick and all of that and I think he thought we we're joking and we had already planned that that time everybody was a minister it wasn't like you are in welfare you don't mm -mm. So when it was time to pray, you would just choose at random. You didn't have the privilege to know what was wrong until you stood in front of the person. Are we together now? And I remember very clearly, Ejimi then and Jakes. When I started saying all those things, Ejimi got troubled one time and he said, come on, let's, let's really find out. Are we going to, how, you know, trying to find out, I hope this anointing works. I hope those devils are going to be cast out. I remember... I hope you can remember. I remember one of the, the first day of the crusade. Two of our ladies, they now went to meet a woman. You remember the story? They went to meet a woman who was deaf and dumb. You know, they came with all the zeal, had received impartation. We had fasted our lives. I mean, we're looking like skeletons. And then the ladies now laid hands, you know, oh God, you spoke to Joshua Selman. And I'm telling you, that woman was just looking like this. No miracle no healing it was so embarrassing the ladies tried how many of you know that when you try you go around and go around nothing happens i remember one person a jimmy i think it was a jimmy that wanted to minister to a young boy and the boy looked at him and said can you see that tree sir he said we have tied people on it he said he can go and call what did he say he wants to go to the market and call the other people that tied so much. yes a very small child i remember the shock on a jimmy's face listen we didn't look like much then but we believed him the third day of the crusade the deaf and dumb woman spoke her ears open remember the first day nothing happened it was so embarrassing so embarrassing for the ladies they came and met me i said don't worry try it do it again your faith and then on the third day i just got angry i said okay you people have tried look this woman let's deal with this thing before these villagers kill us here see you know why i'm telling you this and why i called him it was faith i remember 
while we were preparing for the crusade he took his computer his personal computer he was the only one who had a computer then not a laptop a big screen computer he took everything and put it on sale to carry all the money and supply for the crusade these are hidden stories that you may never never know never knew i dedicated my scholarship 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent for the crusade sacrifices why because we knew god was mighty at a point we didn't have the money to pay where we lodged people as at that morning we were in trouble so we went to greet the king when we went to greet the king we exchanged pleasantries greeted him in the palace and then prayed for him we had a session with the pastors a pastor's conference it was a wonderful time people sowed some seeds plus the seed the king sent that was how we gathered the money listen there was no assurance no uncle no auntie no partner but god everybody shout but god thank you jimmy i love you god bless you but god when you bring god into the equation the calculation changes you have to know that i had fainted the bible says but god but god the psalmist said if the lord had not been our help now may israel say if the lord had not been our help listen every other thing should happen to you but god i'm prophesying to somebody the shame should come but god the interceptor every other thing should come but god the trouble should come but god when you add god to the equation the calculation changes god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent one of the mysteries that are responsible for fearsome results responsible for the strange breakthrough in the lives of men is absolute trust in god based on an understanding of who he is he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might the revelation that he is mighty be strong let your stability be upon that i know i do not have the rent but god is faithful i don't know how it will happen but one thing i know is this god will help me he said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help he says my help cometh from the lord the maker of heaven and earth apostle my father is dead i understand but god is still alive apostle my mother is dead my sisters have vowed that because i became a christian no sponsor apostle there is there is no helper no there is a helper He's the one who can help men. Look, when God decides to come into your life and help you, you will be scared at the result. There is something called the help of men. We are products. Ebenezer, thus far, has the Lord helped. It says Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of the Lord. There are many people who remove God out of the equation of their lives. So they look at you and say but i'm more intelligent than you why is your life making progress because i i kept i didn't add god i put him in front of me there are many arrogant people believing they they do every calculation by themselves then they say god where are you just come and join the queue some of us have learned we put god in front and we foolishly follow foolishly follow if he moves this way wherever we are we turn back and say god let's keep going he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake he said yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death what will happen i shall fear no evil why not because i'm masculine for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me then he says thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over do you trust god do you believe god 
is a little teaching but let me tell you something your life will be challenged by circumstances that will require your faith in God no matter how hard working you are a day will come the only person you can cry to I want you to glue this understanding hold his hands and never let him go you're all i want you're everything Lord. you're all have guarantee to your journey of life is his presence and his word his presence and his word men will fail you not may fail will fail prepare for it the best and the most reliable of all of us will still fail brothers and sisters please listen to me so that you stop yourself from receiving heart shattering heartbreak i don't trust men no i don't I receive of their ministry but only as accredited by God I have pledged my life that anything God cannot give me let no man claim he can give me no sir no sir if God cannot lift this ministry I will be a liar together with any other person who joins me to believe no he said which of you by worrying can add one cubit one cubit one strand of hair Is God blessing us? Everybody say, God is almighty. God is almighty. In, my life. in my life. Say it again. God is almighty. God is in my life. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I permit you to show your might. I'm tired of doubting you. I'm restraining your hand. I'm restraining your hand. Ah, there is more that you can do. There is more. There is more that you can do. I have restrained your hand through my unbelief. They limited God by saying, Can God, can God, can God bless me in Zaria? Can He bless me in Zaria? Where are the helpers? No. The God I serve is dependable. Dependable, dependable. Hey, dependable God.
soon sit down but in one minute i want you to look at the mountain that has threatened god in your life and i want you to prophesy say my god can handle you lift your voice and pray say it my god can handle you i may not have what it takes but my god can handle you no my god can handle you pray my god can handle you the shame and reproach i may not be able to do anything about it but my god can handle you the stagnation and delay the lack of results and lack of progress my god can handle you i do not fear my god can handle you You know that song, Sam? In, in this place. place. Sing that song for us. Let your power flow. In this place. I pray for signs and wonder. In this place. Let your healing flow. Psalms 147 verse 5 quickly I'm shaking unbelief in your life shaking unbelief in your life God is a mighty God he's the almighty not an almighty the almighty no options no one above him no one above him thank you Sam he says great is our Lord and of great what power then he says his understanding this is the mystery behind his power his understanding is infinite now when you meet such a man never leave him his understanding is infinite great is our lord and of great power he says his understanding his comprehension is infinite I trust him I believe him you know we when Ogun we came in um, left this morning and um, while I just passed the whole Lagos about an expressway down I kept seeing different camps prayer camps belonging to different ministries and I thought for a while one day all of them were in their rooms and God came to them and said I will make you great do you believe me and they were stupid enough to say yes some could not speak english but they said yes mm. had no connection some no education but they said yes it is when the results happen people start admiring you no the mission is follow me if you can have that rugged faith to follow him you will return with a testimony please i want you to bond this every time challenges overwhelm you every time you come to a point where you don't know what to do meditate on the might the might of god i like angel michael when they started fighting with lucifer over the body of moses this is what he said he said i will not bring any railing accusation against you but this is my verdict the lord i invoke a power greater than me the lord rebuke you You've been trying to fight many battles on your own it will soon kill you there are some battles that will eat you up on your own there are many young men 
trying to fight the battle of finances by themselves i'm brilliant i'm not daft you will soon die the the visit the reality of the economy will swallow you up you better humble yourself and say lord lead me i'm not ashamed to declare that i do not know if you don't lead me the bible says trust in the lord with all your heart proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 6 says and lean not on your own understanding right it says in all your ways verse 6 now acknowledge him and he will make straight your path seven says be not wise in your own eyes it says fear the lord and turn away depart all this do you know why many people don't trust god this macho man bold face thing that they want to do to life listen it's good to be bold but we make our boast in the lord when you remove him out of the question you are boasting and you must defend yourself indeed we make our boast all day long the psalmist says your confidence in life is not just because of your intellectual capacity your confidence in life is not just because you think you went to school go and find out how many graduates are moving around as if they are holding a tissue paper your confidence in life is not because you think you can speak english your confidence is not because you think you look good <sighs> there is one mighty strong strong mighty you threaten me he will answer you mm. you will hear my voice in that equation he will echo and when god speaks everything if you speak to me it's only me that will respond to you but when god speaks everything will answer everything please tap into this understanding i'm giving you spiritual intelligence don't ever say they are basic leave god out of your life and watch the way the enemy will eat you leave the understanding of the almightiness of god and show me how you will ever build a house show me how you will ever build a ministry show me how you will ever build a business it will it will so shock you take god away that is a, a a mountain that cannot be surmounted but bring him into the equation and he will cause it to tremble before you now the thing is men don't see him they see only you so they think you are the one doing it alone it's up to you to be smart enough to keep his presence by being an usher and pointing men back to him and say look i know you saw only one person walking but we are two and actually i'm only the second of the two not the first there is one in front of me i am a product of his wisdom i am a product of his leadership there is this treasure he says in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of god not of the vessel please repent from this unnecessary vain confidence in yourself i will do this i am smart the way i'm anointed is impossible for me to not have an anointed ministry you are joking go and find out how many people see jesus almost every day and don't have up to 10 people in their church it's not because they are going to hell if it does not give you these keys he says a man can receive nothing except it is given if it is not given to you you can't have it it's impossible what an awesome god you are you're an awesome awesome what an awesome God you are You're an awesome Number three Ready? The third key Man will always have a role to play man will always have a role to play in fulfilling god's word in his life man will always have a role to play i'm giving you spiritual intelligence so you don't waste your time asking why things are not happening man will always have a role to play someone is being delivered already from this statement your role is not taking the place of
it does not control prophecy but it controls manifestation between thus saith the lord and it came to pass you have a role deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 man will always always the love of god is unconditional but his blessings are conditional the love of god is unconditional but his blessings are conditional here's what it says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt uh -huh, listen diligently hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe pay attention then number two to do all his commandments which i commanded this day that the lord thy god will do what set thee on high above all nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee what's the condition if thou shalt hearken verse 2 just stop there if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god he didn't say if god speaks he will set you on top as powerful as his voice is it requires a partnership are we together how many believers sit down there is a very sad statement that is used especially around the north that's to mean it was so prepared by god no i believe in the sovereignty of god there are things that are written there is how god can veto in a man's life but it is not in his character to veto over everything are we together so if i'm poor it's the will of god if the ministry refuses to grow is the will of god no 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 the will of god is not hidden he has made known unto us the mystery of his will it's clear i know the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 thoughts of peace and not of evil not of evil not of evil not of evil to bring you a future an unexpected end that means if my life is not bringing me a future an unexpected end i know that something is wrong i can't sit down stupidly say no this this has to be god no 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 i know his ways it's not a mystery i know there are challenges i know there is a fullness of affliction i know there are seasons but i also know that the times are in the hands of god he said until the word of the lord came to him the word of the lord tried him right but when that word came he prevailed over it in the dealings of God with man you don't suffer forever no sir understand the ways of God so that you don't sit down giving God thanks over things you should be rebuking hallelujah if the membership of koinonia begins to reduce I won't sit down and say it's the will of God he's driving wrong people that's nonsense we know that there is a spirit destroying men because it is the will of God that all men might be saved all men there's no such thing as the crowd does not matter it does the ministry of the kingdom is a ministry of multitudes when you understand your partnership you will know what is demonic you will know what is a process you will know what to give thanks for and what to cast and bind there are too many believers who just sit down and say whatever will be will be unfortunately it's what you don't like that will be are we together everybody hates me they are not nice to me say well maybe that's how my life is it will continue like that you have not sat down to say could there be the manifestation of an evil spirit in my life that is bringing this rain of bad luck i'm such a nice personality but why is it that people cannot help me when you begin to probe and look at things then the lord will show you your own role and say this is what you have neglected this do and you will see the hand of god everyone say i have a role say it loud i have a role to play in the fulfillment of god's word over my life and destiny say it again i have a role to play in the fulfillment of god's word over my life and destiny say it one last time i always have a role to play in the fulfillment 
of God's word over my life and destiny. Never allow anybody, listen, never allow anybody indoctrinate you into believing you will sit down and cross your leg and things will happen. No, sir. Even science refuses that. Even science refuses that. Nothing moves by itself. Right? Yeah. The first law of mechanics, science people. A body remains in a state of uniform motion or a static state till an external force acts upon it otherwise meaning if i leave this here and there is no force acting it will remain there forever your destiny is like this object it will remain in one place the day god wants to change i know my god he will arise you know your god but you will not arise you provoke his hand to arise for you god will deliver me you people should just keep watching no there is what you must do good master what shall i do to be saved that's why the man was rich what shall i do he knew he had a role to play not all god save me that's what the other guy said on the cross we are here it's true we are thieves but what did you even say and jesus looked at him the other one said look we are seen as lord we take responsibility say you you will be with me this day in paradise the other guy still on the cross as a thief and a criminal was not repentant I'm somebody who is obsessed with a sense of responsibility i i detest irresponsibility of any kind especially spiritual irresponsibility if my life will rise is up to god in partnership with my cooperation still on this point i want you to write this down are you getting blessed tonight just listen to what i'm telling you and you'll be surprised to see how your life will change write this down still on that point three your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding your part will have to be based on knowledge and understanding in as much as it is important to take action that action must be based on knowledge and understanding not emotions not suggestions not guessing you see the thing about god is he clarifies what role you have to play moses stretch forth your rod it is a moses just do whatever you want to do i'm just there no stretch forth your rod jericho joshua tell the people to go around jericho specific instruction once every one of the six days and on the seventh day they go seven times after that together with the priest they raise a shout specific role Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 we we'll look at two scriptures so many people are attempting to cooperate with God but they are doing it in ignorance now when you when you walk in ignorance you alienate yourself from the possibilities that are that are contained in God Proverbs 4 verse 7 let's look at it Proverbs 4 verse 7 let's turn it from here for time's sake Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom then it says and with all thy getting do what get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it wisdom tells you to cook understanding tells you how to combine the ingredients wisdom tells you you have a great destiny understanding tells you the path to take that's why he says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path there are similar roles but they are not the same a light to your path direction a lamp to your feet guidance a light to your path direction listen if you come and you're looking for direction i'll tell you okay go left you're going to see two roads follow the left one turn that's direction but when i tell you let's walk together and we get to a place i say okay move with me that's guidance the word of god both guides and directs 
thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so god shows you where to go and guides you on how to go there make sure that you understand what to do before you start doing it don't just say wow this tight let okay since prosperity is tied to tithing and all of that let me just tight you may be taking the action but is it based on knowledge and understanding you can frown your face and come and squeeze an envelope and stand as if you are going to stone god with money and drop it in the offering basket as though you are bribing a man and go back and find out that your heaven still remain closed because it is not the substance it is the understanding the insight is what gives life to the action are you seeing that now yeah so you are praying for the sick and you are saying in the name of jesus be healed but you think he's just about speaking so you are saying be healed be healed be healed and the person is not being healed you are still mentioning the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be anointed the power of god will touch people right now everybody you ask them to shout everything i receive shout jesus shout fire shout water shout and everybody is just looking at you like a rock i say you are such a bunch of unbelievers here you are you are trying to insult the grace of god on my life then you start making reference to meetings that's what people do when they don't have results is it not you that came in 1991 remember that meeting <laughs> bible says jesus the same yesterday today and forever don't bring jesus of yesterday for us we want to see the jesus of today alive and strong but that's what happens to people let your action be based on knowledge knowledge okay what is the revelation behind tithing why does tithing open the heavens wow tithing is my spiritual circumcision tithing is my proof of obedience tithing is not a proof of love giving is a proof of love tithing is a proof of obedience Tithing does not mean you love God. Tithing just means you are obedient. Because an exact figure was given to you. So I begin to study it. I see those who gave their tithe and the results that followed. And then light breaks out. And now I package my tithe with understanding. So I come and while I'm singing, I'm in the worship team and I'm trusting that every time I lift up my voice, people get blessed. I know that it's not just a nice voice and beautiful melodies. I go and begin to study. What is it about music and worship? And I begin to find out, ah, this is how it works. Now, on the strength of that understanding, when I lift a song, I'm lifting that song from an understanding. That understanding will allow a dimension of the grace of God to flow through that song. And you find out that people become a reflection of your understanding never do things because people are doing it spend time to seek knowledge and understanding then you take an enlightened step take an enlightened step everybody is doing business to prosper you too you go and do it no what is the purpose of it Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 the Bible talks about those who are alienated. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance. Through ignorance. Through ignorance. Are we together? Yeah. There are people who, although they are supposed to be working in certain realities, they exempted themselves through ignorance. Being alienated from the life of God and the Bible says through ignorance I am always passionate about a revelation of the areas where I do not know I'm not too proud to learn I always want to know what am I doing wrongly what when I find knowledge that is relevant to me I jump at it with all my heart I know you have been taking action but is it based on insight? Is it based on revelation? You saw people anointing themselves. You went to go and buy Goya oil. And you brought it. And all of a sudden, you opened a bottle and drank small. Rubbed small on your head. Rubbed small on your hand. Went to sleep. And the spirit sat on you 10 minutes later. And he said, my God, with this oil? Yes, with the oil. 
you carried your bible and put it under your bed and while you slept you had the worst dream even the day you slept watching a film you had a good dream but now you put your bible because it's not in actions revelation there are too many people who don't pay attention to revelation revelation Ephesians 1 17 Paul speaking says for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him your eyes being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know come into a comprehension come into an understanding of a reality it is important for us to know I like it to say in the name of Jesus Lord take away ignorance from my life say it again take away ignorance you know let me tell you something the little understanding that God has given me about certain kingdom realities the mysteries of the kingdom I watch how people break these laws every day and want to succeed and want to do well I watch pastors break the laws that bring success in ministry I watch business people break the laws that bring success in business I watch leaders break the laws that bring uncommon results I watch people who want the anointing break almost every law that brings it you see enlightenment is very powerful because when you are moving in darkness you don't even know and so you keep trying this is not working but I fasted 30 days I thought at the end of 30 days an angel will appear to me and say from this day I give you a mantle receive it you collect it and, and nothing happens and yet you see how effortless certain people move in the grace and the power of God as though God owes them his presence and power you've got to find out it's not just in saying the power of God is moving it's not just in saying this and that and that no as I passed Lagos about an expressway today, I saw the predictability of the results of the people. You know, most of those fathers of faith came from the same background. The same background. The Apostolic Church, Aladura, CAC, that background. Regardless of what they have now. So certain foundational things were functional, regardless of what the ministry is. Crowds, space they caught a revelation of space they don't buy small things they buy kilometers not plots and expand it i've had the privilege to see photos of some of these ministries in some nations that are racist nations yet they gave them land it's a grace now they may not have as much revelation as you do but sadly they have more results which do you prefer the end of everything brothers and sisters is results hearing is my father glorified that you bear much fruit not that you learn about plants that you bear much fruit you can learn all you can about plants but if you cannot bear fruit you are not glorifying the father your action must be based on light and that means you must contend for light let me tell you how I study I write out the areas of my life where I have seen some measure of result and I celebrate and thank God then I write out the areas in my life where I'm trusting God for results or greater results and then I begin to study from the Word of God and secondly from the life of those who have commendably produced results in that area that's how you get results that's how you get results I'm not going to study somebody who is not working in the anointing if I want to work in the anointing. I will love the person. I will respect the, part, the fact that he is part of the body. But he has nothing to teach me about the anointing. It's not working in his life. So I will find somebody who represents the hand of God to the degree to which I desire. And humbly study to the degree to which I desire. There may be many of them. But I must find the one that reflects my expectation. Then I study follow them the bible says who through faith and patience obtain not are obtaining they have obtained the promise hallelujah 
run away from ignorance run away from it start acting blindly don't just act emotionally the moment you panic blood of jesus holy ghost fire honestly holy ghost fire hey, these demons you are hearing holy ghost you don't know what the fire of the holy ghost does you don't even know whether it exists you don't even know whether the blood of jesus is there and what it should have so you are just praying holy ghost fire holy ghost fire blood of jesus it will never I, I refuse to believe it then you start crying even you you know you didn't believe what you said because at the end you just stop stop praying and say god is this how you leave me may people of confidence arise who know you see when you are walking by light you will not stop regardless of the result because you know the result will show it's like driving right when you are driving somewhere you don't get tired after five minutes and say we've not reached let me park this car you keep moving why because you know you will get there when people start practicing certain things and stop it is because they don't have a revelation that that is the key for every door there is a key you have a bunch of keys in your hands the bible calls them the keys of the kingdom you have to painstakingly find out which one opens which door i can have a bunch of keys in my hands that does not mean the doors will open how many of you have different doors in your homes that have different keys you can see one small and then another one big the keys don't replace themselves you have to know which one there are certain padlocks you open them in a very interesting way there are others you can close your eyes and just chuck it and turn and it opens all in the same house so there are things you can just come and effortlessly solve but there are others you have to look at it with the eyes of the spirit ah this is what i do this is what i do and i get results in the name of jesus christ i pray for you may the days of shadow boxing come to an end in your life efforts that are not done out of knowledge efforts that are not done out of out of accuracy you will begin to be circumspect and every action of yours will start producing strange results in the name of jesus christ let's take two more and then we'll pray is god speaking to you thank you jesus number what number four evil still exists write it down evil the reality of darkness the depravity the existence of wickedness the existence of darkness is a revelation that you must comprehend if you want to walk in victory walk in triumph and have spiritual intelligence listen it is not only weakness it is foolishness to ignore the presence of evil evil still exists first john chapter 5 verse 19 let's turn there write it down and turn there. first john 5 19 jesus thank you can you play the guitar too for me binga just follow him and play god wants to do something in this place first john 5 19. it says and we know that we are of God and then it says apologies for the projection issues I'll just read from here you listen to me carefully and we know that we are of God then it says and the whole world lieth it didn't say receives visitation the world is lying like you say this pulpit is lying on a, a rug a carpet then it says the whole world lieth where in wickedness listen i want to give you spiritual intelligence the condition to be a victim of any attack from the devil is that you are born not that you do anything wrong or right the moment you find yourself on this side of god's kingdom immediately there is a contention every human being on earth is a potential battle axe satan will not wait till you become one 
he starts attacking you from birth he knows that everyone born of a woman carries the potential to be used by God are we together yeah. apostle what have I done who did I offend have you heard that that culture driven terminology this one that demons are against me nothing works in my life I didn't offend anybody you don't have to there is a story that predates your existence listen to the teaching pulling down strongholds and a number of other teachings warfare series I teach there very extensively on the reality of wickedness many of us trivialize it until it attacks you no the Bible says, Woe to them who are at ease in Zion. Scripture clearly tells us that this world, living is a warfare. Living is a warfare. I think it's Dr. Paul Enche who says that the world is a battlefield, not a playing ground. It's a real battlefield. Just start getting blessed and watch people hate you for doing nothing. You are trying to show you have money. Who did you offend? nobody lie down and sleep and let someone not be able to sleep he wakes up and is angry why are you sleeping this is the world we live in you have a neighbor who looks at you and sees you dancing giving glory to God and he says all these arrogant people I will deal with you that begins attacks in your life please listen to me I'm sharing with, I'm giving you spiritual intelligence I have factored in my life that every day of my life until Jesus comes, somebody somewhere hates me enough to want to see me dead. Somebody somewhere hates me enough to go. So only God knows how many people are in a herbal shrine now calling my name while I'm sleeping. Only God knows how many people are saying, let him have a plane crash this year. Let him have a car accident this year. So that all the mouth is making about the word of God. So that people will be discouraged. The problem is never the enemies. The problem is you. But to ignore their presence is a joke. The psalmist, listen. Judas, one who was close to Jesus, used a kiss. A kiss is supposed to be a good thing. A sign of love. But to someone it was a sign destroying. Brothers and sisters hear me. I don't mean to insult your civilization. But I'm sorry to inform you. That witchcraft is real. Say it after me. Witchcraft. Is in everyone's village here. Everyone is in the city. Is in Zaria. Somebody somewhere is looking for blood. And they are hoping that your own will be the one they are finding. <laughs> you better grow up fast enough to believe what I'm telling you. Mm. The whole world lieth in wickedness. A man goes out in the morning and returns back with a sack letter. That was the happiest day of his life. But he returned back. Ask Job. Job was minding his business. And consultations were happening in the heavenlies. And all of a sudden, everything began to fail in his life. Brothers and sisters, I can look at a life and know that this life is under attack. I have seen marriages under attack. All of a sudden, love dries up between the husband and wife. For no reason. The man is angry with the wife. You ask him. Many times I counsel them. I say, sir, what exactly did your wife do? He said, apostle, I can't tell you this is exactly what she has done. But I'm tired of this woman. I have to look for another one. Then you know that hell is breaking loose. Madam, why do you hate this man? I'm tired. I've not enjoyed my marriage from the day. We've been married for 17 years. Not one day of joy. Madam, you didn't laugh on your wedding day. Not one day of joy. Not one day of joy. <laughs> Yet you see videos of happy moments when they dance together. Not one day of joy. And she's planning to leave that guy. By Jesus, for sure. A man prays for the arrival of a child. And have you seen people who look at their children and regret that they were married? Not because the child did anything. 
from the day this child came our finance doesn't stay again what sort of a child is this I don't need a word of knowledge to know that your life is under attack all I need to know is did you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ do you mean business about your destiny then your life is a project for darkness how can we make the word of God fail in pastor Alpha's life how can we make promise not become that thing how can we frustrate the purposes of God upon Benga's life that's the devil for you let me tell you something with Satan he's a patient fellow don't take his patience as foolishness he can be patient and wait for 20 years until the ministry expands enough for you to not pray again then he comes just like he said he would and destroy your life are we together there are many of us right now I know your life is under attack by your prayer life I see it you don't need a word of knowledge I know your life is under attack by the bitterness things you never would conceive before are now at work in you I see the anger and the resentment you hate everybody for no cause it's not you Peter Peter Satan desired to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen thy brethren I look at a man and know his life is under attack all doors of finance is closed then four children become sick in one day he's coming the thief cometh not but to steal you always see his signature when he comes he leaves the traces a family that were once happy all of a sudden from nowhere you will see the lady will just come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will come with one kind of trouble somewhere the guy will start smoking he will come and speak to his father and say from today i'm a man you talk to me i slap you just when he's doing that they sack him from work just when he's doing that something happens his car packs out brothers and sisters it is not a test it is oppression hallelujah all of a sudden mysteriously people start dying within a region have you seen that happen just like in three weeks or one month men fathers of people just go away mothers of people just go away brothers and sisters just go away just like that five people lose their jobs within two weeks in your house don't tell me it's not an attack someone promises you i will give you a job even says complete everything you travel around the last stage someone just wants to sign and say what did you say your name is again Femi me I said I will help you call this person for me did I say this guy was part of them you say sir we even drank minerals that day say look I can't remember drinking any minerals leave this place I have seen witchcraft life in the lives of people I have seen families under attack no one rises you rise beyond certain limits the devil will not stop you but one day something happens and it crashes you there are ministries within certain regions that don't reach three years Zaria is one of those places the lifespan of any ministerial impact in this city is three years after three years a scandal must arise or something must arise and destroy you if you survive three years you are truly anointed you see it happen a musician comes into the city they are inviting him to every church they exhaust your grace in two months and dump you they are looking for the next person there is such evil There are men of God like that. There are seasons where they are relevant. For one year, two years, they are the talk of the town. Almost every church invites them. After that, you see them walk upon the street. There are names in this nation and around the world. I cannot even begin to mention. People who were inspirations. When you mention them, they represented certain dimensions. Now they are as silent as a dead body. Wickedness is real evil is real one of us here showed me the picture of his father I think it was last week and I saw the man's legs like half of the leg you could see the bones sorry for 
painting a graphic picture no flesh it had eaten what happened to the man he was sleeping you know went to bed at night and all of a sudden someone fired an arrow to the leg he saw it and woke up just a slight pain a slight pain started eating up when i saw the picture it was irritating i said this is your father's leg just imagine dividing my leg by half imagine the toes knees you are seeing the bones that's somebody's leg alive today HIV people who receive their HIV not by a bad living but from dreams are you aware do you know when the enemy rises against you do you have the discernment to know or you just sit down and say we are all like that it's just Nigeria you know I've shared with you a, a story I'll, I'll, I'll share it here one time I was praying I think I was in a fast and then I was praying and I've shared it here a number of times my the, the ceiling just disappeared like disappeared like that and all of a sudden I saw a big creature big like as tall as this from here up the eyes alone were like the head like my head imagine two of my head that's the eyes and then the tail was like a snake imagine another animal joined to another animal the tail had life of itself it could detach and live its life independently you know how you cut a worm and then the parts are, are, are acting that's how it was and then he looked at me with fierce anger and this is what he told me he said so you think you can bring the people of god into abundance that was a conversation red fiery eyes and after that the vision disappeared you think the devil is happy every time you are being transported? You think the devil is happy every time you are being delivered? You think the devil is happy every time you are being saved? Being healed? You think the devil is happy with this information you are receiving? That your life is being changed? You think the devil is happy that now you have been taught not to cry at challenges? In times of famine you should dance and rejoice. You think Satan is happy with that mystery? So imagine how much he would try to come against me let's do something to this man imagine how you would try to come against koinonia let's do something against koinonia who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roar to the lord of lords Listen, when you find out that there is a pattern of pain and tragedy, I want you to know that hell is about to break its bank over you. And that is the time to arise. Before the throne, there is the cross. And you must know how to fight your way to victory. This is where spiritual laziness has cheated many of us. This is where the ministry of prayer has been absent in our lives the ministry of engaging the world for victory too much carelessness and people never rise they die at the cross there they die in the grave and there is no resurrection for them hallelujah when everything in your life goes haywire please hear me i understand that here and there one aspect of your life you may be trusting god but when every area of your life is zero if you have been finding out whether it's the devil, I answer your prayer now. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know his signature. Everything cannot go wrong at once. Something is wrong somewhere. And so it is important you acknowledge it. And then you lock your door and find out what is the mystery of deliverance. Not what is the mystery of prosperity. What? Why am I not getting a job? No job. No money. 
no favor, no open doors, no anointing, no breakthrough, no helpers. You are under attack. Don't wait until it kills you. You finish treating yourself now. Two weeks later, it comes back. I guarantee you, you are under attack. The moment stomach pain is getting healed, your eye starts. As you are taking the last drug for eye, your ear starts. All of a sudden, you hit your leg. You are on your way going to your room. That little hit you for two weeks. There is no balm that cures it. That was not a stone. That was more than a stone. I remember one day I was praying and I was praying for someone, a particular person in this ministry. And then when I was praying, the Lord led me to pray for that person. And immediately I was praying. You know how you blow somebody on your back physically, like I stand behind you and blow. That was what I felt physically when I started praying for the person. Do you know, sincerely speaking, I had to kneel down and lay my hands. The pain was too much. And I knew that person's life was under attack. I said, my God, you have to arise and help this one. I laid hands there. No praise and worship. Let me tell you this. There are prayers that prevail. There are different kinds of tongues. There are tongues for warfare. It's not the tongues for just edifying your spirit, man. You do, you know, it will change. Believe me, it's because you don't pray, that's why you will never get there. Don't speak anything, and even you, you know it didn't rise. The day you lock your door, I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this. You lock your door and say, I'm not going out until there is a change. I'm blasting tongues. The spirit of God, you will feel your tongues changing. You will know this is warfare prayer. You may not know what you are saying. Your mind is not fruitful. But at the point, your spirit, the anger of your situation is added to your prayer. You are not laughing, praying nonsense. You are thinking of who is calling. No. You are praying because you know that you are breaking through. And at a point, joy. Mm -hmm. One of the signs of the manifestation of the kingdom joy comes to you and for reasons you cannot explain you know that victory has been wrought peace comes to you he gives you a sign i tell you when you get that sign start dancing no power hear me this is how i live my life when i pray listen let me teach you some hold on please when i pray i don't stop until that joy comes i don't do all this i'm praying for 30 minutes one hour if it is in five minutes the joy comes that's when i stop Pray. You hold the universe. You hold every one of us. Listen, there are people here. The moment a man appears in your life, those spirits arise. The lifespan of that relationship, it will not pass two months, no matter how vicious you are. You thought it was just because you were bad. No! The best people in your family have gone through the same thing. Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm giving you keys that will give you victory. Evil is real. Hear me? If you see crowds like this gathered inside and outside by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, victory was commanded in the realm of the spirit. It didn't just happen. You sit down there and allow Satan to keep blackmailing what you represent. Every time you want to bless people, people say, don't trust Benga. I'm still suspecting him. Don't you know there are spirits that plant deception? You blast them out in prayer. Someone wants to marry you. All of a sudden, a stranger arises. She does not know she's under the influence of a demon. This lady did A and B and C last year. No, sir. The moment he wants to bless you, he wants to do business with you. And a night before signing the contract, what million somebody calls him and says, who did I hear you are doing business with? Be careful. You see that? Let me tell you, there are spirits. I told you life is spiritual. You keep watching things happen in your life, you will never rise beyond some levels. There are some of you, the moment you hold money, finances, everything will go haywire till it finishes. When it finishes, everything dies by itself. It's an attack. 
is an attack. There are times some of you have received calls from me, even in the night. You were sleeping and you just had me call you. And I said, where are you? What are you doing? Oh, apostle, I'm in this and that and that. All right, let's pray. Some of you have, have received calls. I just call you. I, sometimes I don't even know you. You don't ask how I got your phone number. I just call you and I say, let's pray. In the name of Jesus, A and B. I see the numbers in dreams. And the Lord says, call this person. There is an attack over their family. I just call you and off the phone. You don't even know what happens. Some of you, when the devil is about to buffet you, the Lord uses my face in your dreams. Here he comes, shows up. I tell you, if you see me in your dreams, start dancing. I'm not a herbalist. Believe me, it's a mystery. God used the voice of Eli to speak to Samuel. God uses a grace you honor that represents a ranking that can solve your problem. So when he shows up, he shows up with his covenant of possibilities. It's not Joshua Selman. It's the lamb, the lamb himself using the face of his servant. Listen, don't mind people who preach nonsense around. Say men of God use charm and herbalism to mind. Do it if it's easy to, to make charm. There are men of God I have prayed to command certain miracles in this ministry. And while I went to sleep, certain faces that I respect with respect to the dimension of the desire. Here they come, they walk up. Just like I come to you too. They come and sometimes they just speak a word. Sometimes they lay hands. When you get up, don't just laugh. You get up and receive it. This is where you miss it. You just get up and say, I saw a puzzle. And you are smiling. You miss your miracle. That's the time to dance. Shada Katai. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. It's over. Listen. Before this ministry entered a supernatural dimension of prosperity, I remember I was sitting, I'd been praying and practicing this principle, but I knew that it, it's like there was a resistance, a resistance. And that night, I prayed my heart out as I was sleeping. All of a sudden, I was preaching somewhere in Canaan land, and Bishop Oyeriko was sitting down, David Ipiome was sitting down close to him. Two men, I respect their voice when it comes to the aspect of kingdom wealth, territorial wealth, and they were watching me, just like supervising a student on project. I was standing on the stage. I could not stand very well. It was shaking. And afterwards, I came. And Oedeko asked me to empty everything in my pocket on his feet. When I dropped it, he said, no, there's still some more. I put my hand. I dropped everything. And he laid hands on me. Somebody took me to a room. I opened the room. And I saw dollars. I saw pounds. I saw naira. That was the beginning. When that happened, Koinonia exploded like a charm. There are mysteries. You don't have spiritual intelligence you will never rise never rise some of you were this close to your breakthrough but you did not know what you saw you thought you had a dream only if you dance for 10 minutes that would have been the end of that problem but you did not know help those under the anointing you will the universe you will January this year I was praying and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision and then when I was caught up in a vision the second time I would see Papa Adeboe in an encounter not a dream not lying down to dream the first one it was a pastor's conference and then they were serving food in a tray and I was sitting and he pointed me he said come and then I came, I saw pastors looking at me with anger and envy. And he said, sit down here, let's eat. I said, I can never do this. I've been trained to respect. He said, I said, sit down and let's eat. Two of us sat on the ground and we were eating. When I got up then, January, this one happened like 10 years ago. January this year, when God declared that it's a year of triumph, I had that encounter again. He finished doing something and then I came to him. 
and I can't remember what happened. And then he, I, I, have, I have it written down. And he looked at me and said, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And he started praying and he was laying hands and he was singing a song in Yoruba. Quietly, just laid hands on me and he was singing a song. And then when he finished singing, he says, now, I open up the gates. You know how he's just talking. I open up the gates of influence to you. Walk in it. And he told me, Baba, like you tell somebody in Yoruba, go, you can go, I've opened the road. Brothers and sisters, this is how, this is what we call encounters. You don't know it. How many encounters have you had and you missed it? Because if it is not perfected in the realm of the spirit, the same way you call somebody and shoot an arrow in the spirit and leave him quietly, then in the physical, two weeks, he's still moving alive, but he's dead. He doesn't even know he's dead. You see him and greet him. How are you? He said, in two weeks, it's my birthday. And you laugh at him. You killed him two weeks ago. Yet he's still walking. And one day, he, anything can kill him because he's already dead. Anything. That's the same way when you are blessed in the spirit. Anything can prosper you. It's not about what you do. It's about something that has entered you already. You are the universe. you something about the operation of witchcraft there are only three ways witchcraft operates I will be teaching you next week and then I will teach you the last point on how to command victory but someone has learned something tonight you have been wasting breakthroughs you finish koinonia and sleep you finish your prayer and sleep and things happen in the realm of the spirit you get up and you don't permit them to happen in this realm don't you know a man must speak for things to manifest You saw your marriage, but you got up and you were shy. You were embarrassed. And you just laughed and said, ah, don't mock me. I'm not talking of all these demonic things where you are moving around, no. Listen, it's not every encounter in the spirit that is demonic. Some things God is telling you, the season has come. Especially when it's, it is emphasized. Two is the number of emphasis. Three is a shorty, is a witness that God has decreed that it should happen. But it never happens. Never happens. Because there is no spiritual intelligence. I don't waste opportunities in my life. The greatest of my battles are fought in the realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit. The realm of the spirit. That's what happens. You've not commanded victory in the realm of the spirit. You are pasting posters everywhere. Come for my meeting. You are just wasting your money for nothing. Believe me. The victory. Miracle service is always finished before Friday. Koinonia is always finished before Friday. You don't come and finish Koinonia here. It's risky. Risky. You don't come for miracle service and stand on stage and say, it's time to be healed. Foolishness. That's not, it doesn't happen that way. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Then it was possible for him to be slain physically. If he were not slain in the realm of the spirit, he couldn't be, be, be saved physically. It always happens first in the realm of the spirit. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. I, I feel, I feel, I feel the air of some warfare prayers. We, I, I just sense in my spirit that we need to pray some warfare prayers. Listen. In the next five minutes, I know our time is up. But in the next five minutes, I release my faith with you and I want us to pray. We are going to force doors to open. You are not praying to edify your spirit. No. Every pending breakthrough. It has been declared. It's my season of trial. I have seen it in dreams. The Lord has confirmed it. I should be blessed. I'm not asking. I know it. It is a season. Pray, pray, Koinonia. It's a season of encounter with the anointing. 
I cannot remain at this level of grace. There is a dimension. I have seen it. He gave me a witness. He gave me a witness. Pray. It's my season of breakthrough. It will not happen like before. Now I have intelligence. I will not waste the dreams. I will not waste the visions. I now understand. I now discern. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the beaters crown. You are the God. You are the God. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. Manifest. I partner with you now. I've seen it in my dreams. I saw it in the visions of God. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Pray. The visions of wealth. I have seen it. The visions of victory. I call you for the visions of victory. The visions of blessing. The visions of healing. says withhold not good from thy brother when it is within thy power to do it say not to him come today come tomorrow God has it now did you hear what I said now I want you to lift your voice and say now break through now break through now break through not next week no not next miracle service now favor now favor now break through come on Cordonia now anointed, now anointed, now grace.
must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the wings of surround You overcome, you overcome news. I stop bad news. It's not a suggestion. It's not a negotiation. You have declared it's my year of trial. I stop bad news. Lift your voice and stop it. Lift your voice and stop it. Tired of bad news. Tired of disappointment. I stop it. I stop it. Shake it. Have respect, oh God, to the covenant. I stop bad news. Listen, never let anything to chance in your life. You will be so disappointed. Never let anything to chance. This is a word for someone. Never let anything to chance. If anything will happen, you will make it happen. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Listen, if you have never believed a prophetic word for any year, believe it now. Believe it now. Thanks be to God who causes us always, always to triumph. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have seen that represent what God wants to happen in your life now and was hijacked by any power in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command the expectation of God for you as revealed to you I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now I command it to manifest now. Hear me. Any human agent that partnered with darkness to hijack any aspect of your destiny, let the fire of vengeance. You see, we've been praying vengeance here in the last two weeks. 
just follow what God is doing I command it that has stolen anything from your life from your family and brought you disaster may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night may the God of vengeance arise in judgment this night whoever will not let you go must go for you whoever will not let your destiny go must go for you I release vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance the fire of vengeance I decree and declare every power that close your means of breakthrough in the name of Jesus I declare tonight let there be a warfare in the heavenlies we deploy angels we deploy angels the angels of God we declare are they not ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation angels we release you war a good warfare release destinies Release life, release favor, release breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree and declare whoever is behind God's schedule for him, God planned that by now. There are some realms of anointing you should have entered. Some realms of breakthrough. Anyone behind schedule here, I want to push you by prophecy. So take a Pay attention. There is a grace for speed. I decree it in the name of Jesus upon everyone here behind schedule. In the name of Jesus, I command you, catch up now. Catch up now. Financially, catch up now. Spiritually, catch up now. Anyone called Barry, anyone the devil has vowed that will not marry, anyone the devil has vowed to always have disappointment, I prophesy again, catch up now. Catch up now. Listen, I don't know the chains that held your legs, but in the name of Jesus, by the fire that Elijah commanded from heaven, I decree and declare, may those chains break now. for you this night as you sleep may my God show you a sign God is a God of signs God is a God of signs my God show your people signs signs of their victory signs of their breakthrough this is how to receive your portion anything less than this you are playing games this is how you receive what belongs to you the devil will not give it willingly no whoever is yet to have at least one solid testimony from January 2017 in spite of the fact that God has declared you clap for others Hold on, I'm not just saying maybe a casual, there is no one here who has not seen the faithfulness of God. But I'm saying there is nothing striking. You cannot honestly say from January 1 till today, 10th of March, nothing constructive has happened in your life in the name of Jesus, except I be not sent of God. In the name of Jesus, according to the election of God's mercy and grace, I prophesy to you, in seven days from today, in the name of the Lord God who called me, I command breakthrough, 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 return with testimonies, strange breakthrough. Help 
that lady. Strange breakthroughs. The doors must open. Hear me. Tomorrow, Koinonia will be six by his grace. We are not doing anything online. Leave all those things. Listen. But I want to place a prophecy over tomorrow. Listen. Every time people celebrate birthdays, they reenact what brought the birthday. Correct? If a king is celebrating birthday, he releases prisoners to prove he's a king. I want to place a prophetic word. Malatos Skadabari. I'm not speaking to you by faith. I'm speaking to you by a covenant. By a covenant. I'm not asking you whether you believe me or not. I'm just asking you to listen to me. The Lord that appeared to me. The one who revealed to me. That I saw a generation crying. I saw men languishing. The one who gave me his presence as a gift. And brought the angel of his presence to walk with me. I invoke the covenant of my altar. That post cutter, breast cutter. I invoke the covenant of my altar. Oh God arise. Answer by the covenant I have with you. Tomorrow 11th March. Shake the nation. Change your people. In the name of Jesus. I place my covenant with God upon your life. Let there be strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. Strange results tomorrow. All over. Hear me. All those connected to this grace. All those connected to this ministry. Following online. I'm prophesying from 12 midnight tonight until 12 midnight tomorrow. I declare it a day of strange miracles, strange encounters, strange miracles, strange restoration, strange impartation. I declare an unusual release of angels over Zaria. I command it from 12 midnight today. I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. 12 midnight this night. I command unusual angelic activities confirming the mandate, confirming the mantle. Listen. Listen. This is what I want you to do for me. Please listen. This is what I want you to do for me. From 12 midnight tonight, anytime until 12 midnight tomorrow, I want you to pray. Take advantage of this unusual open heavens. I want you to ask whatever it is when you go back. Any long standing case, I want you. This is not by faith. Remember, this is a covenant. It is not, I'm not just saying you are trying. I'm not asking you whether you believe or not. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Use these 24 hours and watch something happen to your life that would never have happened. I declare it as the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon this prophecy. It must happen. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Listen, no sickness survives tomorrow in anyone's body you have never seen me hospitalized you have never seen three put on my hands you have never seen me fail to come for koinonia because i was down i declare no sickness dwells in anyone's body tomorrow hear me whoever 
will continue to hold your destiny and will not let you go. There is just about two hours. I declare, if they enter tomorrow holding your destiny, I stand and I command the earth to take their body. I say this in the name of Jesus. Anyone who will not let you go, I say it again. If they cross 12 midnight, this night, I command the earth to take their bodies. Lord, I want you to launch me far. I want you to change my life. You have said it's a year of triumph. And God says it's not a lie. Brother, there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in. Leave all these kindergarten visions here and there. There are superior dimensions, but your motive. You, you pray for 40 days, but your motive corrupts it from day one. And God says, come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and i will not release do you know my 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 project with god is to come to a point where god is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me i want to get to that level of trust with god where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is god's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question god is asking lord i used to sing well but then i had an infection that destroyed my voice and God says, but I've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name. And now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense. And God says, no way. You can cry. You can roll on the floor. If your motive is not intact, forget about the experience of the power of God. Are we together now? say lord say it everybody lord i declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me i vow to serve you with my life i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turn. Take my hand. The cross before me, the world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. No man forsake me, still I will follow, no turning back, hey, no turning back. No man forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Come on, sing it before him. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. It's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus. He said, I've, I've discovered 
that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God I'm not talking of self-perfection I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life no way there are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of Jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh. please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of God talk about passion for Jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for God's sake what else will I be doing with my life if not lifting up his name Jesus I lift up your name Jesus I lift up your name that's what I do for a living Jesus I lift up your name Lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. I lift up your name. Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this? Don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother is your heart God is looking for. Not tight, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The things that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. Uh, David danced before God. And his wife said, have a king. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Did he read any book? I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne. And now because I am here, you carry your dignity. The Bible says God had him all. And that woman died barren. It was not the devil that made her barren. Let my people go. Not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you They laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing 
until God vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to Christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with God there is a dimension brothers and sisters where God vets your heart and sees that pastor Femi will live and die for me I'm not it's not one leg in today and God is not sure what you will become in 2019 no Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen I want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to Jesus is not an initiation into a religion called Christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with God there is this fear of getting serious with God for some reason you think if I get serious with God my, I won't make it in life the moment I'm serious with God I won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine Holy Ghost born again visionary brother if I'm serious with God when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that God cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it Elijah said I'm the only one God said keep quiet there are 7,000 others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here 
God wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because God needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when God does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression so if God wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says I'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father I'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too I'm too I want to marry now God please go somewhere he comes to your sister I'm looking for men there's no time to look for God and God says I want to step into this family no one has given me space if God can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he would get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one Genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain. Two. Nina Yesu ne bazanko bazanko so keep coming don't say there's no space even if you have to line up outside no problem this is your salvation with god greater than any miracle tonight just find somewhere to stand if the place is full keep lining up there right outside five someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle i'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that i've not declared jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing 
stretch right outside and those online talk to Jesus right now and say Jesus I come to you I come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated I expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of God lift your voice and cry to Jesus Lord I'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and I know it my mother is not saved I know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to Jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the Savior he wants to reveal himself first as Savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me I see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old I don't care what you have done I don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what I'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of God if you will lead me to pray I will I will love it I've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says I am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days I will live for you I will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night I hand over my life to you say it again I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of God I'm separated from them this night I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today I am a child of God and I will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted Jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and Lord I decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost I speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about 
may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation will roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah Please coordinate them, coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone like you. Where's Sam? Help me. I never see anyone like you. 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 everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before
Let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please say be serious in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight visit me. This is my destiny. Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny, I declare that you must give way tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Long standing challenges. Are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any two shall agree, as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Pray, pray. Rata ta 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father. Tonight. Take away shame. Take away mockery. From my life. My family. And my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. 
expose them tonight lift your voice and pray for the light shines in darkness pray for the light shines in darkness let your light shine oh God Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing. But listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come, my dear. When a spirit, listen carefully, when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, I don't care what you do physically. Remember spiritual intelligence. You can be doing the right physical things, but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo, representing a covenant, an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone 
the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now i want you to bring there are the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence hold on maybe just this the power of god will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the spirit of god will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing god wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you jesus the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you jesus lord wherever they are right now i stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now i see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted shalakataya bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the lord is upon this prophecy in the name of jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside Kai, my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop 
the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken go now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. The grace for open doors right now. Break every chain in my life. Keep your hands lifted. Watch it happen now. That's the instruction God gave me. That grace breaking chains now and speaking across the congregation. I have been seeing this for weeks. But locks opening in the realm of the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. But locks opening, opening, opening right now. I open them. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. Oh, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people I see in the realm of the spirit. I command it right now. I command it. Everyone on this ground, under the influence of any altar, now be free now. Help them, please. Help that lady. Be free now. So Right now, be free now. Be free now. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your own. Everyone, lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. 
please say it seriously say in the name of Jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the Lord as I shout the name Jesus I command you to live my life at the count of three shout Jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting I command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain Hallelujah. Oh, as I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice scene. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil causing sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice. And they are giving somebody, everybody a substance. Like a drink. Something to take. They gave everybody, including you and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all over me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know. My mother. I don't know. They she brought somebody, and you people entered a covenant, and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I command that covenant, Jesus. that demonic thing, time your life. In this miracle service, it lives now. In the name of Jesus. You too? Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are from Kogi State. The same thing. Hold my hands. Look at me. I command that devil to leave you now. Whatever yoke. Please don't come out if I don't call your case. Are you part of them, Mr. Man? Young man, you're part of them. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Bring the, you, are, you two. Come, make sure that, so that we don't get the place rowdy. Be delivered now. Help her. Out! Be free now. Out! I'm interested in this lady. Please, stand up, my dear, if you can. This lady's whole family is in bondage. Whole family. The entire family. Nothing is working in your family. The Lord wants to deliver you right now. Hold my hands. I command that spirit. Your time is up. Leave this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kite ta, 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 ta. do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now, now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty, liberty. Liberty. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane, like J-A-N-E. Jane. 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 I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane, your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. Is it Kaza Chat? Who is that? Kaza Chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. The moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach leaves your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. And the Lord said it's restoration. I stretch my hands upon you right now. I release that grace for restoration. Restoration. There are seven other people who will tap from this anointing. This same anointing right now. Seven. Seven. Right now. The anointing for restoration is coming upon them. Receive it right now wherever you are. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry. Let them come. Let them come doesn't matter with your daughter mama Kai. there is the spirit of death on your family I'm going to pray for you don't be afraid I'm not a prophet of doom you came from where mama I came from Edo State from Edo State you live in Wusasa, yes. but you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Set. You too. You are an usher. Okay. Kai, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took, what's the name of this thing they take? We we, And you were high. You were about to cross the road. And then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it. Just running and killing you. There is somebody here. You smoke. Please don't be. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not like you are not a serious person. But this thing, you started taking it from when you were small. And it's destroying your life. You want to be free. But you can't leave it. Please don't be ashamed. Come out now. Quickly, please. If you are still thinking about it, remain on your seat. Some you have to be free now. Come out. I'm seeing one. You wore jeans dress. Like your shirt. I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out. I will pray for you. This this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside the second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. 
speaking to you this thing they roll and they smoke and then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come whether i mention your case or not you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction indian hem whatever forward march come here your salvation come sir please appreciate them clap for them some of them are not bad people it's a spirit don't be ashamed please usher uh, direct them so that they come here i'm seeing up to five ladies in this group up to five ladies come don't be ashamed don't let anyone laugh at you please this is a miracle service join them we we codeine whatever it is join them whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not come and join them please quickly that addiction must be broken now who can stand against the lord no one can no one will keep coming the devil is a liar who can stand against our king no one can no one hallelujah i'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear lillian. Hold on. is this mic working can you add lillian, the voice lillian. lillian what do you want god to do for you i want god to heal you what's wrong with you i mean i have a problem with my tongue no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day you started having serious problem with your stomach huh what's wrong with you i've 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 got to test and 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 they told me that it's a, a liver problem liver problem yes, because i look at you and you would think you are pregnant but you are not pregnant your stomach is swelling up mama is that true how long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady. But I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about i'm asking you to come out god wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of god is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me 
this is koinonia the lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles yes, i have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam i will pray for you mama yeah do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you ma i will pray for you i have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come, where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Hilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ if you agree with me say amen. amen look at me and you will never be barren in your life say amen there are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same Mama, I will pray for you. This is your daughter. Do you know that God is going to use this girl? God will use your daughter for his glory. Hold my hands, my dear. There is a small girl now, but God will use you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus hold on 
I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance. The power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place. This is somebody's deliverance. This is somebody's deliverance. Lord, set them free right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing something rolling around this row. This row. This row. This row. Shalasobariatas kabandabria. Legetegeba sharatos kabredia. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Someone in this row. Hardship over your family is being broken right now. I'm stretching my hands. This row. Right there. Father, locate that person right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, come. I want you to rejoice. Look at me. The Lord, hold on. The Lord is saying I should tell you that where you have been crying, you will begin to laugh. You have been crying for 30 years and the Lord is saying your breakthrough has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please shoot for me. Come, madam. Hold my hands. The Lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ Open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors, open doors. That's what the Lord is saying. Open doors. The Lord has said you have waited too long. It's time for the door of your destiny to be open. Open doors. Come. There is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you. Hold my hands. Leave her now. Out. Out. When bad boys see you, they can't leave you. As they are passing, they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my body you are a meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you huh? Eh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come Lift your legs. Go ahead. You are a soldier. Lift your legs. Look at this. Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Lift your cross up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Walk as fast as you can. Don't be afraid. Turn around. Turn around. Come. Because your wound is not healing. There is a wound, but there is not healing. From today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria 
you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir i want to pray for you do you believe god can favor yes sir i have to pray for you god is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters i want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirits i'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what i'm saying stretch your hands don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is, a, is like a hospital stretch your hands i will lay my hands on every one of them please all of you should pray i want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction out out now out out in the name of jesus out look at this guy out break from his life now in the mighty name of jesus christ be set free be set free as soon as i lay my hands on you continue praying be set free addiction break break in the name of jesus hold my hands darling no addiction for liquor no addiction for drugs something is leaving you i'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head out of her life now in the name of jesus I break that addiction. Ah. Hey Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now I break it right now I break it right now hold my hands you're a nice lady but we have to break this thing Lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life in the name of Jesus Christ 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 hallelujah the lord is asking me to minister to somebody i'm seeing a very interesting case you love god please don't be ashamed there is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to who is that person i want to pray for you now whether you are sick or not come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital God is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say I'm all right allow God set you free let them come look at this pain I don't know what it is but I hear my spirit pain reliever Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. That's the instruction God is giving me. One of you fire, literal fire. 
is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus addiction broken now broken now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the holy ghost broken now broken now if they are for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus broken now in the name of jesus it's broken now in the name of jesus broken in the name of jesus place your hand on your stomach god is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of jesus christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the holy ghost addiction is broken now in the name of jesus christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of jesus christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life i command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the holy spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of jesus christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the lord now praise the lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up i want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute god can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray i'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart lord i will not have to write this again pray i've written it the bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray i'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the god of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray in the next one minute i'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment jesus i present to you impossible situations according to men and i ask you turn it around now turn it around now turn it around now let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now every case here said by men to be impossible we we collide that case with the power of god and we produce testimonies now whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now
whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now whoever must hear god for this prayer to be answered hears god now father i pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony may the fire and the anointing of the holy ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours receive it now it's yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get a soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit 
that is already your portion released by God I decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by God I put fire upon your feet and I command speed now I put fire upon your feet I command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say I'm too small. Receive it. Don't be foolish. In the name of Jesus, you must be a participant. Listen, I tell you, brothers and sisters, please write this down. You will see a strange rising. Rising. Write this down. You will say, I said it. Nothing to some, I mean, mysteriously. People will have to ask what is happening. It is a grace. There is a grace that makes it happen. I'm not talking of business. I'm talking about the suffering word of God upon the life of a man. May it be your portion in the name of Jesus. I decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life. I release that dimension of favor now. Listen. You can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God. You will struggle for nothing. Please hear me. I prophesy it again. Whoever is lacking favor on his life. I decree from this night carry favor. Inside, outside, everywhere, online, carry favor. Let me prophesy over finances. Whatever makes money run away from you. Don't say I'm talking about money. You need it for what is coming in ahead. Whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now 
I turn it around now. I pray for every student here. Malasuda kabari katoshela brigati skalabrati the kind of results you have never seen i release it to you now i release it by the spirit i release it from the spirit in the name of jesus christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiment they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest i pray for your loved ones i pray for you whoever is called jobless here before next miracle service get something doing now i prophesy it again whoever is called jobless before next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but get a good job there are people here trusting god for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Whoever fights you goes down immediately. Hear me? Whoever mocks your passion for God goes down immediately. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in Koinonia tonight, may their prayers be answered. Every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside, I tear that veil completely in the name of Jesus. favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit I'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit the mantle of honor that God has put upon my life God has put upon this ministry you are part of this vision you are under this grace there's no reason why it should not work in your life i command it to start speaking now no more dishonor in your life 
no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication listen see let me tell you something don't ever let people there are people who are under such passion for new things the system of the kingdom is dynamic but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same prayer the word corporate fellowship obedience if you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing is a joke you will never find it one more time i restore your prayer life in the name of jesus christ i don't know what killed your passion for the word your passion for bible study your passion for devotion your passion for the things of god but i command the restoration this night i don't know what took away your passion for the house of god but in the name of jesus may a love for the house of god like never before come upon you in the name of jesus the grace god released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry may that grace speak over you I speak over your life it is your year of triumph therefore whatever has mocked God in your life I command that in as you enter April from tomorrow you triumph over it hallelujah as you enter April it will not be April full it will be April wise it will be April breakthrough it will be April miracles it will be April speed. Agree with me again. I'm praying with you. Between now. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.